Hey YouTube family, it's Raven back to provide you with another right on time word from the Lord and the lighting is not my favorite right now, but I think, oh, there goes, there goes Prince Augustus in the background. There goes Roslyn. There's my children who I'm going to actually reference in this video. So very timely. Okay. So the word is God will shelter you from the storm. God will shelter you from the storm. Okay, so this is based on a prophetic dream that I had on February 19th of this year. Okay, so um, let's jump right into it. Okay, so in the dream is in a house, right? And there was a big storm going on outside. And the storm was causing the house to fall in and the roof to tear off. Okay, so the roof is being torn off. And in the dream, I cover, I, it's me in the dream. So I'm grabbing my children, them two right there. I wasn't planning on this. This wasn't planned out. But Prince Augustus and, Aga and Rosalind over there. And I grab them and I just grab onto them like this and I cover over them. So I just like, I cover over them. And um, in the dream also, my children were wearing their helmets. So they actually have some pretty, pretty cool helmets that their father got them. <laughs> My son's like a dinosaur one and Rosalind's is uh, like this, I, I don't know, this is really cute. I actually have one in my car. I'm gonna show you it, guys. This is not planned out. Okay, look at this. I just glanced over there and I seen it. Look, it's his helmet. <laughs> okay, so in the dream they had their helmets on, okay? And um, and then, so the storm ceased, okay? And we I went outside Right, so everything around me is kind of falling apart. I went outside and I seen a big rainbow. And it's actually two rainbows. So it was one rainbow in the front and there was one rainbow in the back. And I don't know if you guys have seen the new Mario movie, but it looked like that kind of rainbow. Because like when they're like riding on the rainbow, because everything was pitch black, but then there was a rainbow. Okay. So... What the Lord is saying is he's going to, okay, and then actually I've had, since that dream, I've had three or four other dreams with tornadoes or storms in them. And then two nights ago, right, the 28th, it was on February 28th, I had a dream and it was a storm and I woke up and all I heard was take shelter, take shelter. Okay, so what the Lord is saying that he will shelter you in the storm, but first you must take shelter under his wings. And guys, how he confirmed this, how I just knew that I knew that I knew. I'm driving over here um, to my kiddo's grandpa's house and I passed um, a license plate or I went past license plate said 91. So when I see 91 Psalms 91, okay? So the Lord is saying he is desiring to cover you, to shelter you from the storm, okay? The attacks of the enemy, um, just anything that's going on in your life that feels like a storm right now, okay? He is desiring to do this. But what he needs you to do is he needs you to get under his protection. See, because in the in the dream, my children got under my protection. I grabbed them, I, they got under me, okay? But if they would have tried to like run away and break free you know they could have done that they could have chose to not get under my protection and be harmed by you know the the falling in ceiling and everything that was going on around us so that's what your father is saying is is come under his wing so i'm going to link um psalms 91 below i'm not going to read through the whole thing but it talks about that you know seeking refuge under his wing under his um his feathers so you need to get you need to um seek the Lord, get to that place of surrender to him, being surrendered. Like he's the only, he is your protection. Okay. He is your shelter from the storm. Seek him, um, read through that passage, pray that passage over yourself daily, plead the blood of Christ over yourself daily. And, um, trust that, you know, his protection is, is enough. It's what you need. Okay. It's like, that's going to protect you. Those, you know, if you're trying to find protection from any other place, it's not, it's not going to work. Okay. The, some weird new age stuff out there that promises protection and the protection shelter is found in the most high God. Okay. But the, um, the Lord also had me, um, point out the helmet. I just showed you the helmets. Okay. And so the helmet is, um, is protecting your mind, okay? Protecting your mind from... So the scripture that is coming to mind right now is uh, 
taking every thought captive. Hmm, take thoughts captive. I'm going to link the scripture below, okay? Um, my internet is on my phone that I'm using right now, but that is a scripture. So taking your thoughts captive, okay? Not entertaining lies from the enemy. In the word, it says that the enemy is a father of lies. And he is sending in... Um, he is sending in his army to confuse and and try to beat up the body of Christ right now. So he need to be protecting your mind and pleading the blood of Christ over your mind, putting on that helmet daily, you know, that protects your mind. And then getting under his wing like that. There we go. That double protection that ultimately comes from him, right? It's guarding your mind, but then choosing to get under his wing of protection. Okay. Um... I just love that this helmet was in here and my kids were both in the background. Oh, I just love it. I talk about them all the time. You finally seen them and they're just running around over there. Okay, so the rainbow. So coming out and seeing the rainbow, the Lord is saying, um, you will see your rainbow. You will see your promise come to pass. Okay, you need to trust him and don't stop believing. I been hearing that like don't stop believing okay don't don't stop your don't stop believing believe them if he's if he's giving you a covenantal promise okay that's what a rainbow is that's what a rainbow symbolizes so there's a community out there that tries to say that the rainbow symbolizes something else but we know that the, the rainbow symbolizes uh redeeming the rainbow hashtag redeem the rainbow we know that the rainbow symbolizes uh covenantal promises with Jesus okay so some of you have been given covenantal promises with the Lord the Lord has given you a promise and he's saying that you are going to see that and there's probably a storm going on in your life right now and um God is you know he's he's sheltering you in the storm and when you know storms are over the rain is over you know I can see clearly now the rain is gone okay I've heard that song a few times too it just came up I can see clearly now the rain is gone and it, it talks about a rainbow in that song there's a rainbow I've been praying oh, there we go there's a rainbow I've been praying for a praying on you guys know what song I'm talking about um, but I've heard that song a good handful of times too. So, you know, the rainbow that you've been praying for is probably right after this storm that is coming on, but make sure to take shelter in the most high God. And I was going to, something just came to mind too. I've been reading through the book of Luke. See how quickly I can find it here. Oh, they're waiting. Hurry up. I was reading the book of Luke and it was just talking about a storm, which was how I knew that I needed to. It was bookmarks. This is the last thing I read. Okay, good. All right, Jesus calms a storm. Okay, so Jesus in the boat, let us go across the other side of the lake. So they set out, and as they sailed, he fell asleep. Jesus fell asleep. A windstorm came down on the lake, and they were fill, filling, they were filling with water and were in danger. So the boats fell up, and they went to wake him up saying master master we are perishing and he awoke and rebuked the wind and the raging waves and they and they ceased they you know because the storms listened to god and um he said to them where is your faith he said to them where is your faith so maybe that's what the lord is asking of you where is your faith the storm's raging on where is your faith do you know that the most high god can um the winds and all of it, they listen to him, okay? He's gonna, I should have been talking this closely to you the whole time, so I didn't have this bad glare, but that's okay. Um, the most high God, he's gonna calm, he's gonna calm the storm in your life, okay? You just need to seek shelter under his wings. You need to seek shelter under his wings. You need to take your thoughts captive. You need to be protecting your mind, amen? And yeah, you that rainbow is coming okay it is coming trust him trust and believe i know i didn't um reference reference below for for scripture references okay but the lord's a good god and he's very capable of keeping you protected in this storm and he wants to he wants to protect you just like we want to protect our children okay i wanted to protect my children from that storm i did you know and he's that double protection Okay, your mind and, and your physical body. And there's a lot that goes. I missed something here. 
No, I don't think I did, but trust and believe, okay? Trust and believe he's going to calm that storm in your life. Take refuge in his we, re, uh, little, wings. Read Psalm 91 daily. Guard your mind, guard your thoughts, and be expectant of that rainbow coming. Maybe go hit up that song if you're feeling discouraged. I can see clearly now the, the rain is gone, okay? <laughs> Amen.